Mother Nature is getting good at perfecting her one-two punch. I mean, dumping snow on the metro area, then bringing in the freezing temps. And despite the best effort by city public works crews, some roadways seem a bit more like skating rinks rather than a pathway for vehicles. What causes the extreme ice pack on the roads is when we start to get the rain before the snow event and our pavement temperatures are up at that point in time around 30, 32 degrees because it is going to rain out. And when that rain comes and it turns to snow, that rain has washed away any anti-icing that we have on the streets. The snow then falls on that moisture and the cars just compact that real well into the moisture and makes real hard ice. Ice that sticks until Mother Nature eases up. West 102nd Street is an example of a roadway with some ice pack. You can see it there behind me. And for those who think it's simply a matter of dropping a plow blade and scraping it up, watch this. Removal of snow works really well with our trucks, but once we get that hard pack ice on the road, our plows tend to ride up on top of it. They really have a hard time breaking that bond from the road. Plows revisit these icy spots daily, trying to get a bit more ice pack off with each attempt. And all of this is a long process and we continue to work at it day after day, trying to achieve bare pavement. So with cold temperatures, scraping the ice off with a plow isn't effective. How about putting down road salt? As we get below zero, our salt doesn't work at all. It tends, we tend to switch to salt sand at that point in time and we're looking for just some temporary traction till we can get some warmer temperatures and apply the proper amount of salt because every time we go out, we take the environment into concern and public safety. Snow and ice pack typically has a longer life in residential areas over arterial streets because of lower volumes of traffic. So until mother nature begins her spring thaw, this is the best advice for residents. Plan ahead, you know, look at what you, where you need to be and really drive to the conditions of the road.